Hey guys, what's going on? This is Anime Octo 16431, Emo Game Girl 16431 on YouTube. And this is Life is Strange Chapter 3. I messed up on Chapter 1 because my mic settings weren't on. I'm hoping they are on today. In the previous episodes of Life is Strange. Whoa! They called film little pieces of time. Because Max wants everybody to see I'm how so hip she sick is. of people trying to control me! Don't ever touch me again, freak! It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> You're going to be sorry someday. And there she is. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Let's talk about your superpower. Hey, Stelma and Louise, you're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? You want me to cut you, bitch? Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Please, get me out of here! Max! Nobody cares about me. Nobody. <laughs> What are you doing here, Max? Now, I know today was difficult for everybody. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Please, tell us everything. What the hell is this? Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week. I knew Chloe would be all over this, so I better get moving. I still can't stop thinking about Kate. It's like I'm awake in a bad dream. Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be... So much hypocrite. Kate, I would give up my power if I could have another rewind to save you. 
I won't rest until we find out the truth. And this is my prayer for you. Bless your gentle soul. Hey, Dana. How are you doing? I just can't stop thinking about Kate. And if this is my fault, too. I think we're all responsible for what happened. Not you, Max. You were close to her. You were nice to Kate. That's all she needed from everybody else here. Tell that to Victoria and the Vortex Club. Dana, there's more to this than just Victoria and the Vortex Club being mean. So what exactly are you saying, Max? I know Jefferson got reamed by the principal. Do you think they're involved? It's complicated. I don't want to drag you into this, okay? Not yet, anyway. I'm getting scared now. But people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherlock? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. This is both sad and pathetic. That is really pathetic, especially the way it was Ugh, Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time, going through her shit. Since I've crossed the line from Snoop to Detective, I might as well search for clues about what really happened to Kate at the Vortex Club party. Victoria is about as straight as me, but she really appreciates style. A unique point of view is right, thanks to Courtney Wagner ghostwriting this paper. I had no idea Victoria's parents owned the Chase space. Color me impressed. First Rachel and now Kate? This is the end of the Vortex Club. That's a lot of bank just to clean paint from a sweater. Victoria's secret, she's a geek. Here they are getting loaded with Satan. Well, well, maybe Victoria isn't a monster after all.
nice to know how they're solving problems. I'll title this one, Portrait de la Assholes. Whoa, there's Kate. Totally high. She looks confused. Not like she's partying. These socks cost more than my wardrobe. Nothing to see here. I guess I shouldn't be so bummed. Not that Victoria couldn't hide her shit. Man, I'm getting paranoid. Those boots are made for walking runways. So Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. Nobody can expel me. Not yet, anyway. Max the ninja strikes again. Get it? Boo, yeah. Like I'm a scary punk ghost. More like a scary and sensitive asshole. Chloe, I watched my friend jump off a roof today. I don't think you need to prank me tonight. You always trip out on I don't think you need to prank me tonight. You always trip out on me for not being there for you, but is this how you're there for me? I'm I'm sorry, Max. I, I wasn't even thinking. I suck. I'm not trying to be a bitch, but I'll never get the image out of my head of Kate jumping off that roof. All because my power didn't work. <laughs> it didn't mean shit. I know seeing Kate fall was horrible. I don't even know how to deal with that, so I just act like an idiot. But it's your badass power that's going to bring all this to a close. We just need to connect the players. And find out who really killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? Didn't you say that it was all about chaos theory? I don't see any control over this chaos. Oh right, except for your ability to... Oh yeah, manipulate time and space? No biggie. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I just got Mr. Jefferson in trouble. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? We need to find out more about who Rachel was involved with around here. She was able to blend in with everybody. Even with people I hated. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... Kicking it in Los Angeles? That would be the best case scenario. She wouldn't leave without me, okay? And how often do missing girls turn up? We have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. 
Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, step prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. Insert groan here. Thank you again so much for helping me put together a portfolio. Hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted. As you know, it's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. I imagine uh, you're pretty upset over Kate as well. I'm like still in shock. I've never seen anybody die. I really cared about Katie. Katie? I had no idea you two were that close. Did she? Well, how does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? The contest will go on. I just won't be representing Blackwell at the event this year, thanks to Max, who claims I enabled Kate Marsh's trouble by merely listening to her. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria. I won't be going to San Francisco, remember? You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... Are you fucking kidding me? when I think Victoria can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. Chloe the Keymaster. You know it. Dude... I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. Not to mention the weed you brought into my room. Joking. I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? They can't charge us for just entering. I'm serious. We could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. Tell that to Kate. Come on. One more door and our work here is done. That's it. What the fuck? The security officer should have the key to the principal's office. He's hiding shit, like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lockpicking, thanks to Frank. I might as well test out my thief skill. We're already in this deep. Well, you could look for the key, just in case. Why, yes, I could. Nothing here. Dead end. Boring. Crap.
Only a total phony would wear a crappy hat like that. Here are the keys. None for the principal's office. No key for thee. We have to find another way in. Guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank. But I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan has a name. Hey, Warren, you busy? Just bubble hearth, you'll be okay. Listen, I need your physics expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kinda know how? Huh? No, I'm just asking for fun. Thanks, science guy. Uh, no, 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 stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. Yes, I'm still all in to go ape with you at the drive-in. Thanks for the hope. This sucks ass! Goddamn door! Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? I'm gonna go put it together. Can you stay here and not get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon. Warren is such a classic nerd. Let's see if I can find those items. I hate that formal and smell. Here's the sodium chlorate box. You know you're clumsy, Max. Don't waste your rewind power. Use the damn chair. Only three more items to go. said they were great, troll. Ooh, sugar. You're halfway home, Max.
It's like a scene in a horror film. The tape is mine. Only one more ingredient left. Release the crack can. It's all mine anyway. Now it's time to show Chloe that Max is the bomb. Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Boom! Literally. Yes! Time to blow shit up! If you'll light the candle. This is so cool! Get ready to haul ass. That was so fucking cool! Oh, we are toast! Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. Uh, so what should we do? open, she can't cheat with her rewind. Oh. Welcome to my domain. You are magic! Who how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. The company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers only go so far. Man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money, but no taste. How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be at Blackwell. Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair. This is your chair?
chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock? Find us some clues about Rachel, or Kate, or Nathan? Anybody. I'm on the case. This pretty much sums up Kate, shy and sweet, and in the wrong place. Only two more files to go. Just streaming. <clears throat> I certainly can't use this. You sound like a relatively quiet. Look at this normal. pile. Tumbleweeds. Well then. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. Oh, Dad. That doesn't sound like much fun. Like I'm not gonna read my own personal file. Four. This file is going to be so spotless, I'll projectile vomit.
have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. Oh, well, damn. For something. Well, damn. <laughs> Let's nab this last file, Sherlock. Always wanted to say nab. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. But there's not much here about the police investigation. Well, damn. <laughs> How? Of all places, right? Yeah. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I mean, you can double check the stream to see if the party chat's working this time. Blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad Chloe. This is literally me. <laughs> oh no. I think we found everything in here. I should go join Chloe now. Max, you better come oh, check boy. out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott III. Mm -hmm. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescotts dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. It but is I was the expelled. ending, though. Prescotts always get their money's worth. Check out that note. Open it. The first time I played it, I it's chose just some one crazy ending. Drawing. It's I not was a drawing. Devastated, so I went to Look, the other ending. I was still Rachel devastated, Rachel in the dark man. room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. Yeah, Max. And I Chloe, know he has something Weinstein. to do with Rachel missing. Whoa! Listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always yep. helps me follow those he follows. <sighs> it's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info. Let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include <laughs> mind reading? 
Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. <laughs> I know how you roll. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Of course. Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This'll chill him out after our knife showdown yesterday. Are you gonna make a big issue out of this? Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself? I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. <laughs> God damn it. Wrecked. Do I steal the quote unquote handicapped fund money so Chloe can pay off her drug dealer? <laughs> <laughs> okay then. Frank knows things about Rachel and he might talk if he's been paid, right? You are Supermax. And with the leftover dough, I'll take you on a road trip to Portland <laughs> for the day. We'll stock up on tats, beer, <laughs> weed, and donuts, and books from Powell's, and strip clubs. Kidding. But you never know. I mean, this might save me I feel like from shit something for taking that I did that money. before in the story. I don't know. That impish look scares me. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You want to oh, take no. that risk now? It's been a cray week. We deserve a little mindless fun in the water. We're done for the night anyway. We're rich, and nobody busted us. So? Splish Splash? You're right. We hella deserve it. Splish Splash. Did you actually just say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you. You're like trying to speak in belches. <laughs> We're in the otter's lair. Big fucking deal. I want that heated water. We still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. You can own this hellhole once you figure out your rewind power. <laughs> Chloe is so psyched for girls' night out, so I better follow her evil plan. I mean, it's more logical than what I'm doing. <laughs> Boys or girls? <laughs> girls, of course. Girls? Ooh la la. Let me check to see if the pool's heated. So, Victoria's secret is selfies. Go fuck your... No. Jefferson said, don't confuse art with the artist. These are cool shots. Eh, the fucking duck face. Max, That's try to find the light for the pool. From. I want to see the I sharks. Was a prisoner in a past life. Otters don't <laughs> like sharks. They bite. So do I. Hit that light. <laughs> I know. No, I don't. I mean. My stepdad rented it, then I I tried playing it. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I didn't like it. Yeah, 
You say that just as my character starts running. Just when I thought it was safe to go back in the water. There has to okay. be a control panel for the lights around here. I should have remembered this. <laughs> Time to do or dive, Max. Okay, so what am I supposed to do here now? Do I have a selecty option -y? Oh yeah, is. baby, it feels like a hot tub. And with my cash dash, I'm queen of the world. Bow. Tell me you're not gonna stand there watching me like a zombie. Oh, why is it so melted? dare come stop me hippie okay you asked for it cowabunga why look an otter in my water dun 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 you are so obvious and i still get freaked out by that movie ah! i can't even watch any of those shark shows I'll just rewind and harpoon you. Otter's revenge. Cheater. Yeah, you wouldn't know about that. <laughs> I wish Rachel was here. She would totally love being in here at night. Wish you guys had met each other. We will. With all this stuff going on, I'm starting to think everything is related. And I want to find out why for <laughs> Kate's sake. She didn't deserve to die. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. You know what I mean. Oh God. You're becoming like this force of nature. More like luck of nature. Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. <laughs> Maybe I'm just stumbling back and forth in time. For what reason? You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. Thank God, but what if I had? What if you and Kate would both be dead? So it's time to start moving forward in time. And we're obviously connected since when you said without Wendy, me, I just thought Jenga. you discovered your power, right? <laughs> Absolutely. You make me feel like I know what I'm doing. And you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. I hope so. Stop being so goddamn humble. You're like the smartest, most talented person I've ever known. More than Rachel Amber? Dude, I'm not her groupie, okay? And I'm sure you have Blackwell bros all over you. Like Warren. Warren is... nice. <laughs> nice? Ouch. That means friend zone. No, he's really cool. It was so sweet when he stood up to Nathan, but I haven't told him about my rewind power. No worries. Once you get over yourself, you're gonna make the world bow. As long as you're there with me. Don't look so sad. I'm never leaving you. Now I'm getting cold in here. 
because we're yapping instead of attacking each other, otter versus shark style. I uh, think I've had my pool experience for the year. Let's jet. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. Gross. I feel like we just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Thanks. You would know. Hi! Yay, one of my least favorite parts of this. Move, Max! Don't waste your power on getting busted! Dude, hide! Like when we were kids! I could use my power, or just look for a hiding spot, or both. Where are they? Hello? Hello? Anybody there? Hmm. Better not try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. I heard something over here. Who's here? I got I got a flashlight and a stick. <laughs> Probably. Oh, it's so dark right now. I can't even see. Uh, like the screen went dark. The glare. This is what I have going on. The screen is so fucking dark. The glare of the sun behind me and then the freaking glare on my TV. And apparently my cat attacked my TV because I see a giant freaking paw print s smudge line down the center of the screen. So invisible. Let's bail. <laughs> Wait, turn around. They're coming. We have to find another way out. Oh, this is bullshit. You can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. You want me to crash where the Blackwell security officer lives so I'll be safe? Uh, okay. Into the car. moment there. Mammoths are- mammoths are life. Oh my god!
what if they said no? Always remember this moment. Photo bomb. Photo hog. <laughs> it feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. <laughs> like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch? Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. If I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. I wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just oh, need to get on my regular school that schedule again. <laughs> I know that it is freezing. <laughs> <laughs> we have to walk. Keep waving at the taxis, they keep turning their lights off. I'm so wiped out from last night. But it was awesome. I have to ponder what kind of criminal I've become. Last night was only the tip of the iceberg. I have to admit. It was pretty cool to take over the Blackwell gym. <laughs> Today the gym, tomorrow the world. We need to step it up. We still have to be careful how I use my power. I don't want to get stuck in time. Mammoth. With the sidewalk and the pigeons and my window reflection. Mask up polish in the evening by the morning looks like shit. Okay, I need to get dressed now. And I know you have a heavy heart. Oh, that's a lot. Glad to see you didn't blow up Blackwell last night. Almost glad. God. Oh, you know how in the game you can get messages from characters? Freaking, the character Warren says, Glad to see you didn't blow up Blackwell last night. Almost glad. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> I can feel it when we kiss. So many men stronger Ooh. than me. Still reeks like a chlorine factory. See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion hole. Put me on yes, let's go into the fashion hole. Okay. Time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. But not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. <laughs> Stop <laughs> second guessing yourself, well, Max. There's one. Put this on I got up and to let four, your inner punk rock girl zero, come out. Got up to you can three, afford to take chances down, got whenever and whatever you want to try. <laughs> For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare you. <laughs> kiss me now. Probably. You 
tried nuking me. No, you did nuke. You did nuke my army. What are you talking about? <laughs> because you were just sitting there having a huge ass hissy fit. <laughs> We made a deal, no nukes. <laughs> I'm just going to do this because cockiness. <laughs> Damn, you're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl and girl action. You're such a dork. <sighs> oh man, that was priceless when I kissed Chloe. She didn't think I would. I just heard ACU because I zoned out for a minute. <laughs> Sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka bra. Maybe not. Go on down and say <laughs> hi to Joyce. Free breakfast? I have to, uh, wake and bake first. I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? Oh my god. That smells so amazing. It's like when we were kids here. You know, I haven't gone through a dyeing my hair blue phase yet. Maybe it's time. It feels so good to wash my face after all that chlorine. You did like a dying swirl. <laughs> Chloe never used to care when I borrowed her toothbrush. What's ironic is I always hated it when Chloe I mean, used my ah! toothbrush. <laughs> that you sounded like a dying squirrel? Squirrel. You know, I actually know some people who say squirrel instead of squirrel. Yay! I got an achievement. I better not go in there. David might be in bed. Ew. Ew. For Hello? everybody else in the neighborhood, it's just another morning. Your friend. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel. Uh, uh, I mean, Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. <laughs> Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. Eggs and bacon all the way. Remember when you guys would sleep in until I yelled out, wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Totally. We'd wake up so fast. So this time you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the actual eggs and the bacon. I can handle eggs and bacon. <coughs> the eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. I should evolve and become a vegan, but huh, bacon. Bacon. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in LA. 
I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but... We are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. Be honest, Joyce. Do you think Rachel is okay? God, I hope so. She was, is smart. And she always landed on her feet. Maybe I don't know her as well as I thought. Maybe Chloe that doesn't either. Weird. Sometimes I feel like I don't know Chloe as well as I thought. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? <laughs> She said, no way. I know I was so. I'm glad Chloe found a better friend. No, just a different one. Last time I saw you and Chloe in your pirate outfits, I knew she would never find a better friend. And when you took the rap for that joint, you proved it. Thanks. But it seems like Chloe and me were pirates a thousand years ago. And that makes me what? A century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, youth. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. Wait, who, what? Wait, what? <laughs> Oh, oh, that, that was, uh, Lorena. Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. I think that's him watching right now. <laughs> I think so. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. Kate's life was sure worth a nice exploitive headline. All the way down at the bottom. It's just like in a corner. It's nice. I guess nobody waters the plant here. Am I just supposed to sit here? I think Seeing this is again? what bugged me last time. Ah, made me remember so there much. There we are. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. Wow, sir. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this, and... and... I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want You're you to the have only this. viewer. <laughs> this was when my baby was so full of life and light. Uh, I think she was it's hopeful, Lorena. positive. And everything she's not today. And this I mean, was he's the commenting in the chat. Chloe he's like, hi. Happy. Anyone else here? Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. Chloe, please. It's too early to start picking a fight. Eat instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Uh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me. I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. 
Now who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. I do need to get into David's computer. He's got to be hiding shit. <laughs> That just sounded terrible in too many ways. Ah, crap. No shit it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. Back in my hometown with my new family. Nothing to see here. Nothing in it. Naturally, David was gonna I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. Ah, uh, hi I could try the license number for the password. Hmm. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? What? <laughs> Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. <laughs> David has been dragging his head around since 2001. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. <laughs> that might be a useful password. Now the car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. Even David Madsen might be an angel to somebody else. That's cute. Could be a password here. This is going to be a lot of trial and error. Let's go... Damn. And... Worst hacker ever. Such wrong. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop.
That was painful. Nope. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Try again. I don't know what I meant to do. Family? Um. Oh, shit balls. No way, Max. You totally froze the that laptop. Magic 8-Ball says no. Worst hacker ever. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Such wrong. I don't think I have anything right here. Nope. No. Max, you totally froze the laptop. <sighs> Try again. I've used all of these though. Oh, shit balls. No way, Max. Oh, stop. It's I don't have the answer. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. I did. Ow. None of these work. The only information it gives me to try and hack this computer, it's not possible. Magic 8-Ball says no. I bet David has all of his surveillance secrets in his laptop. Thank you, cold heart. Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? I don't know what the password is. And all my options are fully stocked. This doesn't happen. If I hit B, that just opens family. And I already use this. Worst hacker ever.
but That should have worked. Such wrong. Why? That is the right one. Nope. No way, Max. Totally froze the laptop. Come on. That's not cool. <laughs> Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. And it's that one. I know it is, because I had to just look this up. Again. Come hmm. Score! Max the Hacker strikes again. Whoa, spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? I know I used both of those earlier. Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. This is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. I better tell Chloe about this now. Oh, it's just one more thing to make her sad. Whoa. Spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? There we go. Laptop is now locked. And let's exit this. No, I finally left the freaking garage. Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. 
Leave Max alone, right. David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras. All right, so he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Ah. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. You used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even threatened me. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Uh, you were smoking pot in Chloe's room. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David. Why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Oh, you're turning on me now, huh? Of course. Women always stick together. Well, screw you. David! You better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David. Paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm outflanked. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once, just please shut up. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. This is what I did last time. I don't want to have Chloe on my bad side, because I don't know where that's that would go. Max, that gave me chills. And you better not rewind this one. Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not gonna believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that gonna prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything, for his sake. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shipples. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. Good lord, bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Ugh, but I need to get those keys from Frank.
You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing up like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. What the fuck do you want? Take a picture of me and I'll break your fucking camera. How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. You're lucky I just took that gun from you. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. In other words, Max, <laughs> no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. Hmm. How you doing, Maxine? I'm so sorry you had to be up there with Kate when she, you know, just know that we're proud of you for going up there. Thanks, Officer Barry. I know you guys deal with this stuff way more than me, but it is hard to deal with. I'm glad you're representing Black Bull Academy. Do you think Arcadia Bay is a weird town? I'd take a normal city with normal problems about now. Makes me sick thinking about it. I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once, so while ago, so I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. I better finish my breakfast first. Rachel! Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh, oh look, Max Amber. Is that your punk rock girl outfit? That was classic watching you turn on your everyday hero Jefferson yesterday. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. No worries, cause you're the one trying to fake it till you make it. At least you were smart enough to keep your big mouth shut in the principal's office. Listen, Nathan, I'll take back everything I said about you if you hook me up with Frank. Know what I mean? You look like you've never even taken a hit of baby aspirin. How do you think I stay wired all night studying? So is it a deal or not? Calm down, hard up. Deal. You'll get your school supplies. Just go over to Frank and whisper, higher education. You'll hook your ass up. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. Holy shit, what do you want now? I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. We'll chat later, Max. I shouldn't have said that. I'll need to rewind. What the fuck now? Could I get you to drop Chloe's debt? Are you supposed to be a smart student? You'll find out if you do me this favor. Thanks, Godmother, but I don't need your favors. And Chloe doesn't get any from me. By the way, Frank, I was wondering if you had any, um, higher education. <laughs> oh yeah, sure. 
Do you want the after-school special to go with that? <laughs> Jesus. Look, I don't sell anything but bottles to feed me and my dog. I work for a living. Not like you spoiled Blackwell punks with too much time on your hands. But... But nothing. Don't ever ask me for anything ever again. Ever. I'll back off. <coughs> I just wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you! What the fuck now? Anyone else around I can speak to in here? Oh, that's nice. Shit. What are the other signs then? Let's see. Right, right, right. Seeing sky will turn black and living things die because of. Oh, that's terrible. Looks tasty, but my need for keys comes first. Holy shit, what? I bet you hoped that Kate Marsh would stay quiet. Idiot says what? Did you drug her? You are so stupid, Max. You think you're so goddamn smart, too. Don't push me, girl. You don't want me for an enemy, understand? Do you? Calm down, dude. We're in the diner. Right. Plus, you're an adult now. I can sue your dumbass for libel. Thanks. Now fuck off, Dyke. Holy shit. Your sugar daddy will always protect you. And threaten me. You don't know shit about my father or me. Nobody here does. Then tell me what I should know. Why? So you can pretend to care, hmm? Spoiler alert, he's an asshole. Maybe I could help you. I don't need you for anything except to stay out of my fucking business, understand? Now get out of my face. What the fuck now? By the way, Frank. <laughs> but... But nothing. Ah. Get a new outfit. And leave me alone. Damn, I really pissed him off. I need to go back. Did I break it? I think I broke it.
You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing up like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. What the fuck do you want? Take a picture of me and I'll break your fucking camera. How you doing, Maxine? I'm so sorry you had to be... Thanks, Officer. I'm glad. Well, I heard a rumor you were working for the Prescott family on the side. Jesus, doesn't this town ever shut up? I don't blame you for getting extra work. Look, sometimes I check up on the Prescott family to make sure they're doing all right. Nathan included. Keep this quiet, Max. What can I do for you, Max? Nathan said that Rachel Amber represents Blackwell. With Frank Bowers. Bowers ain't no student anymore. Sadly, he does represent one side of Arcadia Bay. I want you to stay out of his orbit, okay? He man that rabid mutt. I heard something about Frank Bowers and his puppy. My boy does love his dog. Especially when the dog is your personal drooling bodyguard. You can bet he trained that poor thing on blood. Gross. I wouldn't bet. Where did he get the pup? Frank used to bet on dog fights. Now, to his credit, he had a revelation, he saved a bunch of the dogs, kept one for himself. He's still a creep. You and that Chloe stay away, right? What can I do for you, Max? Mm, that should be enough. Let's hope this works now. What the fuck now? You act so scary, but... You did save all those dogs. One, I'm not acting. Two, who told you about the dogs? It's actually a great story. You're an animal lover. Could I pet the doggy? I could go grab him from your RV right now. <laughs> I won't even let you pick up the dog shit. Besides, you don't want a leash. You want these keys right here. Look at your eyes dilate. You're worse than a junkie, Max. But no fix for you. I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. You did not just do that. Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now! He brought. Now back to Chloe. Well, this only took forever. Oops. Are you shitting me? Alyssa, watch out! Quit thinking, Max. I should have known. The amazing Spider Max. I couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. On your mark, set, throw! Get the treat, treat boy! I think we just made that dog our bitch. Get it? Now we can snoop in peace, but let's not waste time. The doggy is busy now, but 
He might come back. Damn, I thought my room was a shithole. You're not a creepy drug dealer. Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy! Can you see us heading down the coast to Big Sur and beyond? Yes, we'd be tearing up the highway. And you'd probably want me to kiss you again. Chloe, we're on a schedule. We I know. Just daydreaming. You scoped Good to the know area Frank has a knife lying around. Computer for info. Frank is almost a made-for-TV hoarder. This place is nasty. Okay, this vent is loose. I need something to pry it open. This is almost as good as a set of keys. My blade will open any portal. Oh man. Rachel and Frank's dog. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. She looks genuinely happy. Rachel really did hang out with Frank. I'm learning more about Rachel than I want to know. Hmm. Trouble in paradise. Frank Stash. That makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years. My mother gloms on a stepfucker. Now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit! Who hasn't? Fuck everybody! Chloe! Chloe, you can't keep blaming me and everybody for everything wrong in your life. It's so not fair. I gotta blame somebody, otherwise it's all my fault. Fuck that.
It's just life. Shit happens. It's nobody's fault. Blah, 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 as Mr. Jefferson would say. And, and Kate Marsh... Yes, Kate Marsh killed herself. She's dead. Such sad, okay? That doesn't make me feel better about my fucked up life, get it? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? You blame William? Really? Yes, I do. Damn right. He chose to go out that door and leave me forever. Chloe, your dad didn't choose to leave you. I know that, Max. My mom actually blames herself. Just because she wanted a ride home from work. Sometimes even I blame her. No, you don't. Yes, Max, I do. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? And he never does? No, of course not. But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. I wish that made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. You don't want to hear this, but you're still here. Alive. With me. And that is no accident. You're right. I don't want to hear this. Chloe, I can't do this out on my own. I need you with me. And Rachel needs you. Oh my god, what is happening now? Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Max, tell him. Whoa, hey. You look totally pale. Are you okay? Yeah. I just... Uh... Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, Chloe. Give me the thumbs up or thumbs down. Well... I might just allow this one into the family album. You're the boss. What is this? But not the cook. William is and here. Daddy. Yes, and we can't Chloe is just a kid. And serve us slackers. Am I that far back in crepes. time? You mean pancakes? In France, they call them crepes. I'm 18 years I'm old inside my 13-year-old self. If you want to eat How? We. Oui. I volunteer to break the eggs. Do you remember how many eggs? It depends. That's true. Chloe is just so, so damn happy and carefree. Right. And this is the last time unless I change it. I am. When I love are... William like he was in my own family. I won't let him die today. I won't. Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the Two Whales. What? 
Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. I have to stop William from taking his car today. Ladies, I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast you upon. You are ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Aha! You can't hide from me forever! Like you're the real cook here? Score! I'll let her know that. I know I had those keys right here. I know it. Forgot all about you, little buddy. Release the keys. Of course. Last time I ordered from Spy Guy Electronics. You can take the bus, right? The stop is right down the street. This I can do. Good call, Max. Oh yeah, the bus is great. It comes every 15 minutes and there'll be plenty of room for you and joys and groceries and and it'll save the environment. You sold me already. I'm off to yonder bus stop. Uh, Joyce will love this. Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? All my friends in LA told me that Oregon was Max. Kind of wet and cold every day. But Never, like Maxine. So that's why she was laughing so much. I know, sorry, Mad Is Max. <laughs> You're not pissed at me, right? Right? No, it's people in Oregon Do you want to go hit the girls' California potty and smoke a peace pipe? I think Max is hot. She's acting like so weird. You cool, Max? Nobody listened when I said we shouldn't let her in the vortex. Courtney, you don't want anybody in the club. Like whatever, bitch. Warren, he hooked up with Stella? Oh no, Th this is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Chloe. Well, there is a giant box of kitty litter.
Max Caulfield. Taking a break after taking Seattle by storm, huh? Hmm. We thought we'd never see you again after you left for the big city. No. I'd never do that to Chloe. Speaking of, I know she's been dying to see you. Hold on. Chloe! You have a visitor! Chapter 3 tomorrow, I'll do a Chapter 4 episode.